Forms on Webflow websites are pretty good. I mean, you just type in information, click send, and boom, you have a message saying form has been submitted. But if you're running a business website like I am, it kind of felt like it's lacking that one little sort of autoresponder step where it's, you know, just sending an email to the customer saying, thank you for your inquiry. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. You know, it's just something like that. And so in this video, I just want to show you how you can set that up for free using Zapier and your Webflow website. All right, so here we go. So you need two tools for this. You need a Webflow website and Zapier. And so with Zapier, you can set up a, a free account. And once you do, you'll be you'll see their homepage dashboard. This is what mine looks like. And what we need to do is we just need to create a Zap. And what a Zap will do is it's going to be able to connect to our Webflow website and Gmail. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, OK, Zap, take that information, use it, and then create this automated message with some of the information on that form, so like the person's name. OK? So we will just set that up right now. So what you have to do is you have to go to Create Zap. And what this will do is it'll pull up the library of all the various zaps that you can create. So I'll just type in Webflow. Uh, so here. So this is the trigger. So when Webflow, now I have to choose an event, when a form is submitted, so that's when someone presses Send. Uh, so I'm going to just go through these. And so if you haven't connected Webflow uh, to Zapier, it's going to just ask you to do that now. So I've already done it. And so it can see uh, sort of my account already. So I'll just run through that. But just go ahead and do that. And if you have multiple sites on your Webflow account, it's just asking, you know, which one is it? So just go ahead and pick, pick that. And then finally, the form name, it will ask you for which form are you referring to. So in Webflow, every form has a name assigned to it. So just make sure that you have the right name. So let's say on this one, it is my contact form. And so now I will just refresh fields. And what this is doing is it's just pulling in the information. I click continue, test the trigger. So what this will do is it will just show me the various uh, pieces of information that are being taken. So here I can see first name, last name, my email, um, you know, here's a message and stuff. So it seems that it's working. So this is just to make sure that things are working. So I'll click continue. And so what's the action? Well, I want a message to be sent. And I want it to be sent with uh, Gmail because I'm using that. So I will just go to Gmail. I will click here. And an event I will choose is send email. Create and send a new email message. So I just set that up and press continue. And now it's asking for which account. Uh, so let's say Gmail. All right, continue. All right, and so here it just gives a bunch of, uh, bunch of uh, fields that we just have to complete. Not all of them, just a few. So here, so who will this email be sent to? So what I want to do here is I want to look for the variable that shows information that looks right for me, right? So I want, let's see, I can go to show all options. So I can see that the data email, so that's, I want that to be sent. And let me just X out here. Uh, from, so now this is information from Gmail. So I have a Gmail account, so I'll just put my email here. All right. If I want to add the name, I can of myself. Um, so I could, I could just put, I can just type it. And so that will show up sometimes on the Gmail, you know, uh, on the person who sent the email. You'll see a person's name. Uh, subject. So I could, you know, I can just say something like received uh, your email. And then body. So this is where I would, I can just type in something that I want to say. So I could say something like, thanks for your message. Uh, I'll uh, just letting you know that I received it and will come back to you shortly. Thanks. Mike and spell check. Okay. All right. And, and really that's it. And so all I have to do is continue. And here I can see 
uh, what, yeah, basically this is just showing me what, an example of if someone uh, sends something, this is my email, so I shouldn't have used as my test, I should have used a dummy email. But basically, it shows you that this is the automated message that will, uh, that will be sent out. So it looks good, and I just push uh, t test and continue. And yeah, and now let's just go check email. Yeah, receive your email. Thanks for your message, just letting you know. Yeah, and so that works. And so basically once you've done that, you've got your autoresponder to your Webflow website. So that's it. Oops, I made a boo-boo and just want to correct it. So once you do your testing and everything looks good, make sure to publish a zap and that will make it, it'll activate it and then you're good to go. Okay, oops. All right, pretty cool. So hope that helps and hope that, let me know if it helps, if you have any questions and I'll try to address them. But other than that, just, uh, just rock the day. Have a great day. All right, bye-bye.